G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. My name's Josh. We have a little problem here today where we have a rectangle that has two intersecting lines drawn through it, which breaks the rectangle up into four different parts here. This part has an area of one, this part has an area of three, this part has an area of four. Your job is to find the unknown area here. So pause this video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready to keep watching and learn how to solve this problem, start it up again. So time's up, did you manage to solve it? There are a number of different ways to solve this particular problem, but I'm gonna choose what I think is the simplest and fastest way. If you use a different way, please put it in the comments below and share it. So to start off, let's have a look at these two triangle parts here, the one with the area of four and the one with the area of one. It's apparent that these two triangles are similar to each other. That is, they are the same shape, but they are different sizes. And we know this because we can work out the angles of these. First off, where we have these two lines intersect here, we have vertically opposite angles which are the same. We also have angles which are formed by a line running through parallel lines which form alternate interior angles. So these two angles are also the same. In addition we also have this line which runs through these two parallel lines here of our triangles forming two interior angles that are also complementary to one another. So as you can see this angle matches up with this angle, this angle matches up with this angle, this angle matches up with this angle, and what we're left with is two similar triangles. So now what we can do is we can compare the areas of these two triangles. These areas are in proportion to one another, they are in a four to one ratio. And what this means is something pretty special. What it means is that the sides have a ratio of two is to one, because area is proportional to side length squared. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. If we were to have a triangle, and that triangle was to have a side length of six, and this one was to have a side length of four, we could easily work out the area by going length by width divided by two, six times four, which is 24 divided by two, which is equal to 12. Now, if I was to halve our side lengths, we'd have three and two, we could work out the area of our little triangle here, three times two is six, divided by two is equal to three. You can see that our areas have a four to one ratio, but our side lengths have a two to one ratio. So we can use this now to solve our problem. If we call the height of this triangle here h, it makes the height of the bigger triangle 2h. And so I can actually break this up now into two rectangles. We have a rectangle here, and we also have a smaller rectangle up the top here. What's the area of our larger rectangle? Well, we know that half the area is four because it's a triangle here. So the entire area of this rectangle down here is going to be twice as much, which is going to be eight. For the smaller rectangle up here, we know its area is going to be four because it has a height that's half of this one here, but the same length. So simply now what we can do to work out the area of our original rectangle, we can just add these two together. Four plus eight, we have an area of 12. To solve our unknown area here, we simply now take away our different sizes here. Minus one, minus three, minus four, and it leaves us with our answer. 12 minus one, minus three, minus four, is equal to four units squared. And that is our answer. How did you go with that? Did you work it out without any help? If you did, let me know in the comments, and if you like that problem, please give us a thumbs up. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.